Alright. Sallallahu ala Sayyidina wa Mulana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa barik wa sallam. Okay, just I'm talking about now is about swad and sin. Okay, swad and sin, few place we can see how we can do. Okay, first of all is my book is page number 9 and 29 number rules about swad and sin letters. In the Quran Majid, two places in Arabic, Swad. Swad is to be pronounced as the Arabic letter Sin. Okay? You can say Swad, but we will do pronounce Sin. Okay, first is Suratul Baqarah, ayat number 244. Is yab sutu yab sutu, but we have to say yab sutu. Second is Surah Al Araf, ayat number 68, bas for ten, but we will say bas for ten, bas not bas, okay. And then Surah Tur. Ayat number 37, only sword sound. Only sword sound. That is, Am humul musaytirun. Musay, musay, musaytirun. Okay? But in the Surah Al Ghoshia, Ayat number 22, Ayat number Ayah 22 is word is be musay tir. Be musay tir. You have to remember these things, okay? Otherwise, you'll be confused. Okay, be musay tir is swad or sin. Both you can't do that here, okay? Swad or sin. I hope you understand that. Okay. Now, rule number 30, also I'm going to explain to you. Quran Majid, when we read A'udhu Billah and Bismillah. Even sometimes my students also, they confuse, like why is this Sheikh is doing this? I think he's wrong and I think he's right. But normally, how we do start, we think like this is right. And this day, Obviously, just pulling. This sheikh is pulling this way. Other sheikh is pulling other way. So, just only for um, as a, your knowledge, I'd like to explain to you how many way we can start Quran. <clears throat> Normally, number one, we start Azubillah first. Then we stopped. Then Bismillah. Then again stopped. Then again we start the surah. Listen. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Take a break. Then you start. Relax. We relax. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Relax. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen This is, that's fine, this is like I would say safe site for armed people, okay? And then, second way, second option A'udhu Billah, then stop And, Bismillah after you read Bismillah, don't stop. Go first part of Surah if you want to. Okay, this is not compulsory. Listen. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. Relax. 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين. See, after Bismillah, just stop. But you have to be very careful. Sometimes, like a lot of rules come after Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Oh, uh, it is like like when you join the surah with Bismillah. Okay. Yeah, very carefully. Okay, third option. A'udhu Billah and Bismillah. You can do that. Right? A'udhu Billah and Bismillah together. You can do that. And then Surah. Separate. As example, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahi Rahmanir Rahim. Qul Huwa Allahu Ahad. Okay. So it is up to you. Okay. A'udhu Billah, Bismillah, together, and then Surah. Another option is, you can do all together. All, A'udhu Billah, Bismillah, and Surah together. A'udhu Billah, Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Qul Huwa Allahu Ahad. Okay? So these four options for different way, but I would say if you don't have not much knowledge, if you're a beginner or any other, so please, please, please try to do first one. Okay? Otherwise too complicated for you. Okay, sometimes you can do like a between two surah which is not Necessary, you don't have to, but your information for uh, I like to tell you. Number 31 how we can recite Bismillah between two surah. Okay, there is four different rules. Okay, first one is finish one surah, last part, then stop, then Bismillah, and then surah. Okay, as example. غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين stopped relax بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم stop قل هو الله أحد okay so سورة الفاتحة تو I move to uh, every place is stopped 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 and then I studied سورة الإخلاص قل هو الله Second option, you can do like uh, after the surah just stopped and then Bismillah, you need to Bismillah, after Bismillah don't stop. As an example, Stopped. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين. So after بسم الله it didn't stop. Third one you can do that. Uh, first surah is finished last ayat of the any surah then read بسم الله. Okay. Okay third option. You can do that. Uh, Bismillah. Uh, like um, second one we've done. Okay, together everything. Okay. First, uh, first surah, last ayah. After the last ayah, don't stop. Start Bismillah. After Bismillah, don't stop. Go oh, next surah. Okay. As example. غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين 
آمن بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد okay so these are you can't do that okay there's no problem for these but I'd like to tell you one is that like there is problem okay problem which one okay if you finish like you are reciting first surah after the last surah without stop if you started bismillah and if you stopped after bismillah then maybe listeners they will think the bismillah may be with this surah so it is says avoid don't do that okay so غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. So I will say Amin. Na Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Then I will stop and then Surah. Amin Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Qul huwa Allah Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Just stop like this. I'm doing again. آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. So you can't stop like this, okay? Then you are saying قل هو الله أحد. It is wrong. It is wrong because maybe audience or listener they will think oh, بسم الله maybe with this surah. Okay? So I hope you understand. And if you have got my books. You know, you, you can read those and you can understand more. So basically like all learn how to start between two surah is Bismillah and how to start Bismillah, uh, Awazubillah and Bismillah before you start your Tilawah and Swat and Sin, three things is here. Okay, next we are saying like, uh, I will say like no Bismillah is some surah. 